virtual hard disks on Windows 11. Before you create virtual hard disks on Windows 11, you need to understand there are two types. There is VHD and there is VHDX. VHD is the older format of virtual hard drives and this supports only a maximum of two terabytes of size. This is useful for older versions of operating systems like for example Windows 7 and Windows Server 2008. VHDX is actually the newer version of the format and this actually goes up to 64 terabytes in size per disk and is actually useful for more recent operating systems so Windows 8 and above and Windows Server 2012 and above. Let's go and create these virtual machine hard drives on Windows 11. So there are multiple ways of doing this. I'm going to show you two. The first way is to create a virtual hard drive via disk management. If we launch disk management here, expand this out, we can see our physical hard drives on our computer. We also have this option under action to create a virtual hard disk. So if I select one of my disks in here, so I'm going to select my Windows C drive and I'm going to create a virtual hard drive. This gives me the option of where I want to actually store this. Let's go to browse. Let's go down to this PC and let's go into C. Let's go and create a new folder inside here to store my virtual hard drives. I'm going to call this virtual hard drives. I'm then going to open this folder and I'm going to create this and I'm going to call it VHDX test one and we're going to change this to a VHDX style so we can benefit from that newer file format. The virtual hard disk size I'm going to make this into gigabytes and I'm going to make this into 20 gigabyte hard drive. Notice I can change this from VHD to VHDX and I have these two options fixed size or dynamically expanding. If you choose fixed size this 20 gigabyte hard drive even though it will be empty, will take up 20 gigabytes on my hard drive. If I choose dynamically expanding, which I'm going to, it will take up a small amount of space on my hard drive, but will expand up to 20 gigabytes in size. Let's click OK. This has created that virtual hard drive extended format. And if I go into my file explorer and I open up my this PC and I open up C and I open up my virtual hard drives folder, we can see it here and it has only taken up four megabytes in space because it is a dynamically expanding disk. It is not usable at the moment. If we go back over to disk management, we will see that this disk is currently unmounted and currently does not have a file system on it. We need to right click and initialize this disk to actually mount this. We will leave this as GUID partition table rather than master boot record and click OK. Now that disk has been initialized as a basic disk, I can right click on this unallocated space and I can create a new simple volume. When I create the new simple volume, it will give me the option of the size I want to create the volume. So I'm going to use the whole disk at 20 gigabytes. The drive letter I wish to assign to it, I'm going to leave this at F. And it also gives me the ability to choose the file system of FAT32 or NTFS. If you are doing this on Windows Server rather than Windows 11, you may also see REFS there for resilient file system. I will call this volume label virtual HDD and I will click next on this one. Click finish and that will now format this drive as NTFS. It has now mounted the drive as a drive letter F and if I come back over to Windows Explorer I can see that this drive letter F has been mounted. I can now create files inside this virtual hard drive. Let's create a text document called test and let's open up that test document and just type test inside here and save that document. I can now right click on this hard drive here and I can choose to eject it. If I do, notice the hard drive actually unmounted here and you can see that that hard drive is still available inside C and inside virtual hard drives. If I want to remount this drive, all I have to do is double click on the drive and you can see that this virtual hard drive has now remounted and I can open up test. We can create virtual hard drives in other ways as well. We can also do this with PowerShell. If I open up PowerShell on this computer and right click and run this as administrator, I can use the command of new dash VHD to create a new virtual hard drive. I can use a path element to specify the path where I want this to actually save the virtual hard drive. Let's go to that same location. Let's take virtual hard drives here and let's copy that location and paste it into this path. The size of this virtual hard drive 
in bytes is also going to be 20 gigabytes. And I'm going to make this a dynamic virtual hard drive. Must also do inside that path is not just specify the actual directory, we must also give the name of the virtual hard drive PS or PowerShell, and we'll call this a .vhdx drive as well. That has now created the hard disk and you can see the output details there. If we open up our directory path, we will see we have virtual hard disk or virtual hard drive PS. We can go and mount this if we want to. We can mount this by using the command mount dash VHD and we can choose the path of that virtual hard drive we had before. That virtual hard drive has been mounted, but you will not see this virtual hard drive appear here. If we go back to disk management, you will see that virtual hard drive is here within the disk management itself. We still need to right click on this, initialize the disk, initialize it via GPT, right click on here and create a new simple volume. Click next, click next, click next and click next and click finish. Now we have also created that virtual hard drive via PowerShell and mounted it, but it is called new volume. You can choose to dismount virtual hard drives as well through PowerShell with dismount dash VHD. Specify the full path of the disk you want to dismount. And that disk is now dismounted from disk management. And that disk is now dismounted so it doesn't appear inside Explorer. And that concludes creating virtual hard disks both through the disk management and through PowerShell. And you know the routine, hashtag like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed this video and will join me next time. Goodbye.